I'm Serena. And I'm Alex. And we're here with the Santa Barbara Middle School Teen Press with... Rachel Panza. Tell us how you first came to know Drew and how you committed to make this film. We all came to know Drew through Dusty, who is actually Drew's roommate at a time, and we all went to San Diego State together. So a lot of the crew came from San Diego State, and we all knew Dusty, who introduced us to Drew. What does a producer do? Tell us about your role in making the film. A producer basically takes the ideas that someone has and puts them into reality. They, they make the phone calls, they organize things, they get the permits, they get everyone together and they, they organize it so it can all come together to be a cohesive whole and to actually make the film and, and make it finally progress to the end stages where it can be edited together. Why film? What is the power of this medium to inform and motivate? I think the best power is that it combines all of the arts, it combines uh, music, it combines art, photography, it combines all of these things together to be a powerful medium that people look up to and for some reason when they see film they, they, they want to they want to believe the things that are in film and they want to uh, believe the themes are something that happens in real life and so with Drew we wanted to show something that was actually real life, it wasn't fiction, it was a real story that people could look up to. Thank you. Dusty Duprell. We read that you connected with Drew through a Craigslist ad. Tell us about meeting him for the first time and how your relationship grew. Well, I met him on a Craigslist ad and it was for a roommate. So usually when you put up an ad for a roommate, you'll give a description of like the bedroom, like pictures of the apartment. All he had on his ad was, I'm Andrew Shelley, I'm an engineer and I have a Jeep. And he had a picture of the Jeep, but not the apartment. So right off the bat, I knew like, this is an interesting guy. And as soon as I met him, we immediately connected and became good friends. And I think I moved in like the next week, so. Um, what were some of the things that motivated you to direct this movie? Um, I just think Drew is an amazing person and I felt it was like an opportunity to show the rest of the world the Drew that I know. It was a chance for me to be able to, to make other people see Drew the way that I see him and that's why I wanted to do it. How did your connection to Drew change in the process of shooting and since then in the period of making the film? Um, Drew, we started out as roommates and I think through the process of making this film we became best friends and he's one of the most important people in my life right now. So that's how this process has changed our relationship. On your site, you posted a 2009 letter to Sundance participants. What happened as a result of that letter? Um, well, it didn't help get into Sundance, but what it did was like it sparked a lot of people that I guess you would call them fans. They contacted us, and even though we couldn't get into Sundance, they expressed like their support and their how they were personally moved by the project, and they encouraged us to keep moving forward and. Um, it kind of encouraged us to, to keep working on it as well because it showed us that we were doing something big and um, there were people out there that wanted to hear about Drew's story. What would you like any viewer, but especially teenagers, to take away from the film? I think the number one thing I would like people to take away from it is to not have any excuses, to live your life. If you want to do something, just do it. There's nothing that should hold you back. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.